the history of City and Guilds of London Institute. City and Guilds was founded in 1878 by 16 livery companies and the Corporation of the City of London and have been at the forefront of technical and vocational education ever since. From awarding the first certificates in 1879 in cotton manufacture to delivering online assessments in today's electronic world. Over 130 years of the Institute's history to date, it has gone through many changes and has developed greatly. It has continued steadily to serve the advancement of vocational education for which it was founded and to benefit or be of use to productive and technical industries especially and to commerce and industry generally. The purpose enshrined in its Royal Charter. Under its royal authority, the City and Guilds of London Institute has progressively contributed throughout Great Britain and the world to the expansion of technical knowledge, skills and competence. City and Guilds is also an internationally renowned and respected name. In 1887, the Institute awarded the first certificates outside the United Kingdom for exams that were held in New South Wales, Australia. The City and Guilds College has proceeded to virtual independence within Imperial College itself selected for expansion as a centre of excellence in higher education in science and technology by the government in 1952. City and Guilds have links with the royal family since our inception with King Edward VII becoming the first president in 1881 when he was still Prince of Wales. In 1900 Queen Victoria bestowed Royal Charter on the City and Guilds of London Institute in recognition of its pioneering work in the encouragement of technical training by providing a system of assessments and qualifications for a wide variety of industrial and craft skills. Our longest serving president was His Royal Highness the Duke of Edinburgh who took on this role in 1951 and stood down in 2011 on the occasion of his 90th birthday. The sustained participation and support given by His Royal Highness the Duke of Edinburgh, KG, KT, as President of the Institute during more than 60 years is recorded with the most respectful appreciation and loyalty. During City and Guild's history and the association of the Royal Family with it, the scale and scope of the Institute's operations has increased enormously. The Institute is delighted that Her Royal Highness, the Princess Royal, has taken over as City and Guild's new president. The City and Guilds of London Institute is a leading United Kingdom vocational education organization. Nowadays, City and Guilds offers more than 500 qualifications over the whole range of industry sectors through 8,500 colleges and training providers in 81 countries worldwide. Through a century of industrial and technological change and development, the qualification system introduced by City and Guilds has expanded to cover the ever-increasing variety of skills and to make it available to countries all over the world. City and Guilds aims to unleash the talent within people and help them realize their career aspirations and potential so they can be the best they can be. Today, over 2 million people worldwide are working towards their City and Guilds qualification which span all levels from basic skills to the highest standards of professional achievement. As the UK's largest vocational education organization, City and Guilds is leading in a new kind of talent revolution to capture the imagination of young people and inspire them to take control of their futures. In 2011, City and Guilds was one of the premier sponsors of World Skills London. Well, City and Guilds are the premier sponsor, or one of the premier sponsors of World Skills, and we stepped up to the plate when London was awarded the 2011 uh, programme. We're delighted to be his premier sponsor. This is an incredibly important event and we're delighted to see so many people here 
learning and seeing outstanding talent demonstrating their skills. University is a great place to go, but it's not necessarily right for everyone. And we want to make sure that the youth of today have the opportunities to pursue their careers and progress into work um, and, and, and develop their skills for successful careers. One of the exciting things about apprenticeships, which is so important to this country at this moment, is you can earn while you learn. And, and clearly that also provides progression routes. And it's great to see so many organisations here today supporting apprenticeships, both small organisations but the big multinationals, and we need them all to step up and support more capacity. Thank you, City and Guilds. I thank them for having that piece of paper on my wall that my mum was so proud of all those years ago. And now I'm going to get another one. <laughs> Thanks to City and Guilds for putting me on the road to success. Thank you, City and Guilds. I'd like to thank City and Guilds for giving me confidence. Thank you, City and Guilds. 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 Thank you, City and Guilds, for giving me the opportunity to learn and getting me out in the real world. Thank you, City and Guilds, for giving me the fundamentals I needed to get me through my shipping and mechanics course. Thank you, City and Guilds, for allowing me to get a trade and also to allow me to go in to teach my trade. I'd have to say thank you, City and Guilds, for offering me a, a great career and a future life, really, to moving on to bigger and better things. Basically, City and Guilds gives us a benchmark to guarantee to all of our customers that they're actually getting someone who knows what they're doing. Um, can't ask for any more than that.